Hi, in this video I'm going to give you three common mistakes that I see beginners and those that are just starting to play the cajon make on a regular basis. Welcome to another cajon master video. Just a quick reminder, make sure you subscribe to the channel to have access to all the content here. After some time teaching the cajon, I have noticed some common things that almost every new cajon player do when they start to play the instrument. Most of players, when first have the contact with the cajon, they try to play the bass tone on the middle of the instrument, almost low, in the low part of the instrument. I'm going to show you how it sounds if you play on the middle of the instrument. Now I'm going to show you the place I normally play and I suggest you to play as well. You can notice that in the first example the sound is not that great. However, in the second example I think is really the bass tone of the cajon. Another thing is that you need to bend over a lot to play in the lower part of the cajon. It can cause back pain and other problems as well. Second mistake. This also is related with the bass tone. I see many cajon players at the beginning play the bass tone with a hand like that, like a shell. Let's see how it sounds. Now I'm going to play as I normally play and I suggest you to play as well, with the hands relaxed, like a high five. Again, you can notice the sound difference when I play as a shell and when I play as a high five. This is just my opinion, but I think when you play the bass tone with a hand like that, uh, you mute a bit the instrument. And also I think it's not a relaxed position, especially when you need to play fast grooves or fills that between bass and snare that you need to be with your hands relaxed to go up and down in the cajon. Mistake number three. This one is very common. It's where people just start to play the cajon and mute all the tones, like this. See how it sounds? It's not so nice. So it's very important that when you play, you leave you bounce off your hands to leave the cajon resonate, the sound resonate. And that's it. I think those tips are very important for you that are just starting to play the cajon and want to avoid the mistakes. To learn more tips about Cajon technique and how to build your grooves, I suggest you to sign up to the Cajon Foundation course. If you want to learn more about this course, I put a link in the description below. I hope you like this video. If you like it, click thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, you can follow Cajon Master on Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget to leave your comments with suggestions about topics you want to see here. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon in the next video. Bye.